to the Italian Football Podcast. Does he play Samuel Illing Jr.? That brings us on nicely to, to mm. Samuel Illing Jr. because he, he had his first start for Juventus in this, in this 2 0 win against Atalanta. The first Englishman to start for 30 years for Juventus since David Platt in June 1993. And he, was, he had a fantastic, fantastic performance. Um, he was lively and, and he scored the, really the decisive goal in this game. Vlaovic's second goal came deep seven minutes, eight minutes into injury time. And, and it was Illing Jr. That, that broke the deck block in the, in the second half. He, 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 he won the ball back with his, with his uh, work rate and his pressing. Uh, and then he played uh, played it to, to to Rabiot, who then who then played it back across the box, and and um, and uh, and Inning Junior, and Inning Junior scored. And um, I think that he's been yeah one of the one of the positives of this season for Juventus has been some of these youngsters that are getting a chance and are the, the, coming through the next gen and have shown that they do have potential for the future if they are developed correctly um, in the in the future. Um, and I think he definitely has has potential. So we'll do a little a little profile on on, on Illing Junior. He he joined Juventus in in 2020. He came from from Chelsea. He spent nine years in Chelsea's youth academy between 2011 and and, and 2020. And he was in the same age group as Armando Broja, who's at who's at Chelsea now, an Albanian striker. Um, but he left um, for Juventus because he felt he 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 would have more chances in their in their next gen team and. And he's been really like one of their bright spots in the in the Primavera team last season. He, he got ten goals and seven assists from from twenty six games, and that allowed him to, to get his chance in the in the first team. And of course, he he really has done well when 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 he's played um, for the for the first team this season. He, he came on in that defeat to to Benfica uh, in the group stage, the four three, and he and thanks to him, really they launched a late comeback and almost got a point. They ended up losing four three. He got he got an assist. Uh, in that game, and nearly set up an equaliser as well. Um, I mean, he's a winger. He's a winger. That's his natural role. But <laughs> as is as is the case of Allegri, Allegri's been playing him left wing back quite a lot. But he's actually shown that he's actually very, very tactically versatile. Because if you saw him in this Atalanta game, his defensive coverage, his his work rate gets up and down. But he's also seems to be very switched on in the way that he traps back and gets in position. Um, we saw that with the way that he won the ball for the. For the goal that he scored, um, he's actually done really, really well um, um, at, la- at left wing back. But he is he is naturally a winger. Um, but he's 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 a quite tall. He's 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 powerful. He's he's quick. Um, he he's, he goes both outside and inside. Uh, and he's got a goal for it. And uh, you know, his three seasons at youth level for Juventus, nineteen goals and twenty assists. I mean, he's um, yeah, I, I, I like him. Yeah, no, I, I like him too. I think he's been one of like this Allegri and the kids. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's been really interesting to see Fagioli, Miretti, this kid. Um, I think that's good news for 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 Juve because with Rovella and Cambiaso being as good as they've been this season in the Serie A, um, that's great news uh, for for them. But no, it's he's, he's a really really interesting player, and and I like the fact that he's. Yes, he's a winger, but he's actually been really good as a left wing back as well. Uh, and, I, mm. and I like his technique. Um, I think he's uh, he, he, he comes across as a very mature and intelligent player and person in how he behaves on the pitch. I don't know if you I know. like him because he because he's unpredictable as well. Yeah. Like with with Kostic, Kostic he's predictable. Kostic he's is the most predictable player that you'll ever get. It's just. He just crosses it as soon as he yeah. gets it. it. Doesn't matter where 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 he got. And look, you can't argue with the assists that that Kostic has got over the course of the season. I think that obviously he's going to guarantee you a number of goals through his through his goal contributions through his through what he does. But I think that sometimes in certain games against certain teams against certain level of of, of, of opponent and opposition, you know, he can be predictable. Whereas Illing Junior, you know, especially as an impact player as a sub, and I, and I, that's where I think he'll probably come on as he'll be a sub. I think for this Sevilla game. Um, because you know Allegri is go- is a pragmatist. You know I think he is unpredictable, and, and he gives you that that X factor. And he's because he's so young, he's nineteen. He, he still hasn't been hasn't had that coached out of him. And I think that I hope it isn't coached out of him. But I think that he's um, yeah, I think he's a useful weapon, and I think he can be a useful weapon for the rest of this this season for for, for Juventus. He's he's, he's um, he will play his part. I think between now and the end of the season. Agreed. <laughs> 